Welcome to the intergenerational closing with our Oldbridge High School students and our Oldbridge seniors. At this time, I'd like to introduce Mayor Owen Henry. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to the Older Adult Active Center here in Old Bridge. I know we have our active adults over here, and our seniors are over here, right? Seniors. Well, every, every, uh, again, thank you for coming out this morning. I want to thank everyone who uh, played a part in putting this together, everyone who participated in the program. I hope everyone benefited from it. Um, there are life uh, lessons to be learned you know, as we get older, as we become wiser. Um, there's no doubt in my mind that this side of the room is probably much smarter than this over here in this way. There's no doubt in my mind that the education you received in Overch High School is probably more intense and more um, learning than the college education was when I was growing up. And when the active adults were in high school, it, it was probably day half of what you had been exposed to in high school. But that doesn't make you smarter. Doesn't make you smarter. A wise person always said, if you have wisdom, wisdom, if you keep that wisdom to yourself, you're not wise. A wise man will always share his wisdom. And that's what this is about, sharing wisdom that you can take with you now as you go to college and become even smarter. But it's more important if you become wiser. You need to become wise. You need to make those decisions, not based on your intelligence, but on how wise you are, the decisions that you make and your career path that you choose to take. They've been there, we've done that. You're next, you're on deck as they like to say. So it's so important that you take the information that you've gathered with this program. It's important if you have culture that you stay, you keep that culture in your family. If you're a close family, it's important that you stay close. If you're starting a family as parents, it's important that you keep that family together. Family's most important thing as you go through the next couple of years or decades in your life. So I welcome you all again. Um, we're going to be giving a lot of certificates out. Uh, we have some a good buffet coming out, so I'm not going to stand between the seniors and the active adults' uh, food. So let's get to the show on the road. And thank you, everyone. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. We would like to welcome everybody here today on behalf of our mayor, our Overage Town Council, our acting business administrator, Hamanshu, Lisa Valsara, our deputy uh, recreation director, Diane Amabile, our manager of Office on Aging, all of Overage seniors, and myself, Karen Tortorisi, I'm the coordinator for the Overage Municipal Alliance for the Prevention of Substance Abuse, a mouthful. At this time, I'd like to introduce Avril Lamage. She's our Human Resources Director. Okay, good morning. Good morning. And uh, I'm speaking on behalf of our uh, Acting Business Administrator, Himanshu Shaw. But I'm really, really, it's a pleasure to be here today uh, because today is a great day. We have two very, very important groups of people here today. We have the youths of tomorrow with the ability to influence the future. We have the seniors of today with that influence on our youths. And especially through these wonderful intergenerational programs, I wanted to thank Karen uh, for doing such an awesome job with the, with the program that she's putting on today and also want to thank our amazing Senior Center staff. Uh, where are they? We have Diane, who was unable to be here today, uh, the manager and, uh, or assistant manager, Anna, and we have our <laughs> program coordinator, uh, Nancy. We have our transportation coordinator, Teresa. And we have Lou, our aide, over there. And we don't want to forget our bus drivers who without them, the seniors would not get here. So we want to thank Iris and Nick and Russ and Nancy, another Nancy. 
thank you so much, or intergenerational programs help to dispel age-related myths and stereotypes. It allows us to come together to connect, forge relationships, solve problems, and together we become stronger because we're able to do a whole lot more together. You are all valued, especially your seniors. You're so valuable to us and youth, as the mayor said, there's so much that you can learn from each other, especially the wisdom uh, from, the seen, from the older adults. Uh, we don't want you to let opportunities pass by and that's why we're so thankful for programs like this that allow you to come together. And so with that, I wanna also thank the staff the administration and the students of Old Bridge Township. Give yourselves a hand. Without you, this would not be possible. So I just want to let you know, leave you with this. Last month was Youth Month, and this month is Older Americans Month, but every day is an opportunity to make a difference, so let it count. Thank you. Thank you so much, Admiral. I'd like to introduce, at this time, David Cittadino, who's our Old Bridge School Superintendent. Thank you, everyone. I'm sitting here trying to figure out what month I belong to. <laughs> um, you know, as, as I've seen this ceremony take place over the years, it reminds me of, you know, the times that I've learned from my favorite uh, older American. That was my grandfather, uh, William Canberra. He was a career Air Force officer. And throughout his life, I spent a lot of time with him. And I learned great lessons. But one of the lessons I learned that I took away the most was his ability to walk up to people he never met before and just treat them as if he knew them for years. And I asked him about that one time. And he said, you know, most of my life in the military, I was either in England or Germany, he was in Korea, uh, Japan, and I didn't really know a lot of people. I was always away from my family, so I had to just make friends with anyone I could come up with. So I found myself over my lifetime and career kind of mimicking that and making people feel at ease who I'd never met before. And one thing I never did was I never thanked him for that wonderful trait that he passed down to me. So that's what really this is about. This is an opportunity to say thank you, and thank you to our seniors who are here who shared their experiences and their wisdom with our students. And thank you <laughs> And thank you to our students who had the courage to open up and talk to them about what it's like to be uh, a young person today and the struggles that you're going through and the challenges that you face that I didn't face and that my, um, th those before me did not face because the world changes every day. So thank you for having that courage. And I just want to thank uh, the mayor's office and his team, and Karen, you do a great job, and this township would not be as special as it is without your support. Uh, and of course, I want to thank uh, Ms. Kelly and Mr. Salisbury for <laughs> being part of this dynamic team at Oldbridge Township Public Schools, uh, which we all have, as I have my team members here with me, which it wouldn't be as uh, great, we wouldn't be growing as we are without everyone's buy-in and support. So thank you to everyone, and thank you for a great day. Thank you so much, Dave. At this time, I'd like to just mention that we have Scott Cascone, Oldbridge School's Director of Af Academics, and Kathy Hoker, our Assistant Superintendent of Schools. We already mentioned our wonderful teachers and our young adults. And I'm going to move to asking Scott Cascone. Thank you, Mr. Tortorici. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, as uh, Mr. Tortorici said, uh, my name is Scott Cascone. I oversee the academics for the Old Bridge Township Public Schools. I am uh, proud to be here with um, uh, my colleagues, Mr. Cittadino and Dr. Hoker, and of course, our, our colleagues uh, in the mayor's office and uh, the Municipal Alliance, we have a, an amazing working relationship. You know, I'm still calling myself a newcomer to Old Bridge, and, and I'm not sure exactly when that will end, 
Um, I, you know, I've been here about two years, but it's such a big community, and there's so much, so much happening in this community that I think one could spend a decade in this community and still feel as if they're new because there's always new and amazing things happening. You know, I've heard it said many times uh, that this is an amazing community, and it is, and that when this community is called to challenges, it responds, and it does. And the question is, why? And how does it do that? And I think the answer is because it is just simply a strong community, the kind of community that you don't see too much anymore, at least in our neck of the woods. Um, and a true community, a strong community, values and honors its wiser members, its sager members, um, its older members, um, its elders of its society, just as much as it honors and protects and treasures its younger members. And I think that that is really what I see today as a theme, is a community that invests time and resources ensuring that we do both. Um, some of the work, just to get a quick connection, the work that I do with, with Mrs. Tortorici through Municipal Alliance, the specific purpose of which is to combat substance abuse and drug use in our community. Okay, which we know is a tough battle, and in some, in some uh, tragic cases we're losing that. But in many, many, and the vast majority of cases we're winning that. Okay, and I think it is through programs like this. Um, so I'm honored, and it's some of the best work I do and work about which I'm most proud. So I thank you, um, it's my honor and privilege to be here and have a, a wonderful ceremony. Thank you so much, Scott. That's an opportunity for me to say quickly, um, other than the constant support that I get from our mayor with the Overage Municipal Alliance and our police department as well. Um, the school system here has worked so closely with the Overage Municipal Alliance to work with our young students all the way from kindergarten up until high school. And this program shows that we're broadening out into our community as well. At this time, I'd like to give you a little history of the intergenerational program. We're in our 16th year. I had to go back and look at that because I couldn't believe it. So it is very thrilling and we keep trying to breathe some freshness into it, especially for our seniors. They welcome our students six times here at the Senior Center. They are so welcoming and I know that our students have told me right after the first session that it is, was a wonderful experience for them. The Oldbridge Municipal Alliance for the Prevention of Substance Abuse is a volunteer township committee grant funded by the Governor's Council on Alcoholism and Drug Abuse. I am the coordinator and I help the committee choose programs that fit the needs of our town. Medication management is an issue that both groups face. So we started as a senior seminar series all these 16 years ago, where one of the sessions included teens and seniors, and it was very well received. The Old Bridge High School principal back then sat on an alliance committee, much like our administration of the schools today, and spoke about how learning about healthy aging was in the high school psychology curriculum, is where our teachers come in. It came together as a hands-on program where students and seniors can learn and share life's experiences that may be similar. The students from both classes come together three times each class, six times per school year, and close with a ceremony such as this. The three sessions that we have, just to give you a little bit of a background on it, is my favorite these days is our speed dating style meet and greet. Let's see a show of hands from our students who like that session. <laughs> so the tables were set up much like we've seen in the movies. Um, this is a brainstorm of Dian Diane Amabile and the seniors stay on one side and the students on the other and as after three minutes we ring the bell and everyone gets up and moves to the next senior. So everyone has a chance to um, meet each um, older adult and it, it's worked very well and it's been fun for everyone. Um, the next one is Senior Jeopardy which I'd like to mention uh, well, Wellspring C uh, Center for Prevention. They come in with a PowerPoint presentation and this is a very important part of the program because it's the educational piece on the dangers of prescription drug abuse and medication management which both groups face today. They have really a lot in common, much more than people think. Our assist program, who is assisted by our NFL, sits right over there, 
Um, is a hands-on kit in presentation with related real-life materials, such as buttons, zippers, walking equipment, so the students can gain a respect for the difficulties that some of our seniors face today. One of my two favorite extras was our holiday Christmas carol, holiday carol with our mayor and Mr. Cittadino, where they came together with our seniors, everyone had a Santa hat on, and they sang some Christmas carols so it could go on OBTV. It was very fun. And of course, the gentlemen in the pool room, which may not hear me, who really don't come out much, they're constantly offering up some good advice and billiard lessons. So, moving on from there, we'd like to introduce our students who are going to come up and say a few words about the program. Let me start with Sabrine Kahaney. I would like to say that this experience has been very memorable for me. The first time I came here, I was a little scared because growing up, I never was around older adults except for my parents. But as soon as I arrived, you guys all welcomed me with open arms. You told us stories and experiences as well as gave me advice. I remember the second time I came here, I sat with a very lively woman and before we left, she told me, don't forget to always live your life and sometimes rebel but not too much, <laughs> because when you get to my age and you look back, you don't want to use the words, I should have, I would have, and I could have. And honestly, I've thought about that, I've thought about what she said almost every single week since. In my eyes, elderly people are only people who look older from the outside because if anyone were to sit down with an older adult, you would know that inside their souls are still very young. Thank you so much for coming out and being kind and sharing all your stories. This has really been an eye-opening experience. Thank you so much, Sabrine. Next, I'd like to call up Christian Mendez. Hi, my name is uh, Christian Mendez, and I'm a junior in Overt High School. When I was first selected for this program, I'm not gonna lie, I admit I was, I was nervous, because I thought these wise, experienced adults would just look upon me as a, just a teenage high school kid. But we went on our first trip, and I had the privilege of meeting some of the most kind-hearted people, folks, you can ever meet, such as my friends in the back over there. You can see the joy these people had talking about their lives, their experiences, their families to complete strangers, almost as if we were their family. The amount of acceptance that I was surrounded by was surreal. As a student, I'm completely grateful to have had this opportunity to be a part of this program. And if it were up to me, I would have all my peers join me in this. I look forward to continuing visiting this center and thank you. Thank you, Christian. Next, I would like to call up Emily Sulich. Hi, good morning, everybody. Um, my name is Emily Sulich, and I'm a junior at Obert High School in Ms. Kelly's psych class. Um, I would first like to begin by thanking each and every single one of you who put this program together to further our education and learning as psychology students. Um, I also want to give a huge thank you to the older adults he here that have made each trip so memorable and so enjoyable for all of us. You truly made each of us look forward to coming back every single time. Um, I love this program because I was able to not only develop many necessary life experiences that will benefit my future and my health, but I also made many new friends. Um, I enjoyed speaking to the older adults and learning about their lives and their past. They have so much to say and I could listen forever. They gave me advice and helpful tips I'll forever use to face life. And I've learned so much just by talking to them, something I think we all take for granted for today. The smiles on their faces when we arrived and spoke, and spoke to them are something I'll never forget. Thank you once again for this experience. It was truly life changing. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you so much, Emily. At this time, I'd like to bring up three of our seniors, Morgan, Margaret Hugis, Donna Mancini, and Maria Stefanaski. I would like to thank, I think this is the end of the season, the children, we've been blessed by having the seniors come here, it was a wonderful experience, and I would like to say, have a wonderful summer, and to those who are going on to college, have a wonderful career, and God bless. God bless you all and have a wonderful summer. <laughs> Next, I would like to call up Alexis Barlow. school and a part of Mr. Salisbury's psychology class. I'm very lucky to have been chosen to be a part of this amazing program, which is the intergenerational program. I've had an amazing experience coming to the senior center these past couple of times. On our first trip, which was a meet and greet, it was very fun and entertaining and all the stories that I heard, I'll never forget. All of these stories were almost like I stepped into the past and was a part of their lives. I met Maria Stefanaski on our first trip and reconnected on our second, which was playing Jeopardy. Playing Jeopardy taught me a very valuable lesson on prescription drugs. This program was a great opportunity for me. It's very refreshing to be around another generation. I have learned so much and I loved every minute being a part of it. I never wanted to leave after the trips. I would like to thank Mr. Salisbury, Mrs. Tortorizzi, and all of you wonderful seniors. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Alexa. And our last speaker is Emily Unverich. I hope I said your name. Hi, my name is uh, Emily Unverich, and I'm uh, part of the junior class of Obert High School. To say I had different expectations from my peers for this intergenerational program would kind of be an understatement. I work at Reformed Church Retirement Home and my job is to assist the residents, but the senior citizens here at this program definitely don't need my assistance here. <laughs> they are strong, self-sufficient, and independent people. They have hobbies. They like yoga, dancing, cooking, and they giggle and laugh with their friends just like I do with my own. They can even sing in a chorus line in way more unison than me and my high school students. So. Uh, <laughs> um, this program allowed me to connect with people who went through the same problems I did. They went to high school, they took their driver's test, they applied to colleges. They lived and went through the same experiences I'm going through. And it was a pleasure to actually be part of, to sit with them and listen to what they have to say. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Emily. At this time, we'd like to give out the certificates for everyone.
Mayor? Okay, th again, thank you everyone. At this time, I'm going to recognize Wellness Center for Prevention, Wellspring Center for Prevention. I don't believe they're here, but we'll make sure that they get that and thank them. They played a big part in putting this program together and participating in it. Uh, next, I'd like to call Mrs. Kelly, please come up. Intergenerational program in recognition of service above self for the successful interaction between older and younger adults. And this is sponsored by Ms. Will Lyons Office on Aging. Thank you. Uh, next, Mr. Paul Salisbury. A bigger applause than the mayor. And it's the same, the same thing. Um, acknowledging Mr. Salisbury and his efforts, and without the teachers, we would we wouldn't be here. Uh, without the students, so give him a big round of applause, both teachers. Can everyone please come up? Thank you. We're going to give out the certificates now. Stephanie Romero. Bobby, your speed is what keeps us alive. So yeah. Walk up with purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie, can you stop for one moment, please? I just want to give a little bit of a shout out to Stephanie. She's part of our Teen Alliance at the Oak Ridge Municipal Alliance. She started as ninth grader, and it was a community program. She didn't come during school. She came in the evening. She was trained in peer leadership, um, and she has volunteered for so many community events in four years. I have to give her a big shout out. Thank you. <laughs> Kelly Delarosa. <laughs> Alyssa Boba. Marencia Burian. Sarah Allen. Alex Cormosis. Sabrina Edgeworth. <laughs> Mena Hassan. <laughs> Megan Hernandez. Lauren Kodro. Bookie Nuanco. Matt Manley. 
Jalen Saunders. Jaden Samatos. Kevin Light. Emily Unverick. <laughs> Natasha Haig. Thank you. <laughs> Emily Sol <laughs> Solich. Call you guys up quick. We'll give you a big round of applause at the end. All right, but um, we have uh, Christina Schreiber. Katie Wozner. We don't know what to do. Brendan O'Dwyer. Always count on me. Justin Ortiz. <laughs> Ariana Pippoli. <laughs> Nick Tavernis. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a clapper. Kevin Sokol. <laughs> J.C. Shemansky. <laughs> Vanessa Pacheco. <laughs> Christian Mendez. Kayla Falkenberg. <laughs> Romella Donazal. <laughs> Sierra Cooper. <laughs> Chelsea Sentinel. Nicole Boken. <laughs> Madison Badillo. <laughs> Carl Botang. <laughs> Alexa Barlow. And Jasenia Estrada Field. Yeah. Excellent job. Round of applause for all of you. And can we have a round of applause for our own Mayor Henry, please? Just as a closing quickly, in my experience, the teens and the seniors discuss important issues such as family values, morals, hardships of the past and the present. It is an excellent opportunity for both sides to gain real life knowledge of certain aspects of the psychology of life and really open up. 
they are building friendships on both sides. We've had the students come up to us and ask if they could volunteer during the year. Volunteerism is so rewarding for us from throughout our lives. And they both have gained a greater sense of connection, purpose, and community. It is, so, it is sort of a graduation day for both. I'd like to thank once again our senior staff and recreation staff for our help of our setup. <laughs> our volunteer teens from our psychology class that are our speakers. <laughs> Old Bridge Schools and Old Bridge High School principal Vincent Sasso for the, the unwavering support of this program. Especially Ms. Kelly and Mr. Salisbury. <laughs> Wellspring Center of Prevention, who provides our senior jeopardy, Ezra, Helen, Mara, Lisette, Linda. I want to do a shout out to them. And to OBTV for constantly filming with their expertise our intergenerational program yearly. Thank you so much. Yeah.